Hey guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be sharing tons of cleaning motivation. I'm going to be sharing my cleaning routine. But before we get into today's video, I want to share with you guys my brand new 125 can beer fridge by the brand New Air. This beer fridge is seriously so amazing, you guys. One, it fits 125 cans. It also has a lock setting on it. So once you get it to the temperature you want, you can lock it to make sure that nothing messes with it. So if you have small kids, this is perfect. I love it because it chills your drinks from 23 degrees Fahrenheit all the way to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. It has a heated glass door that stays frost free. I love the freestanding design and I love that this device has turbo mode, which can frost your beer in one hour, you guys, which is amazing. It also has a party mode as well, which prevents temperature fluctuations for up to six hours, which is perfect if you're hosting a party. If you guys are in the market for a brand new beer fridge, I will leave all the information down in the description box. All of my viewers are able to get 20% off. So that is such an amazing deal. So here is how my beer fridge looks. It definitely is nowhere near filled up. I'm definitely going to be getting some more beverages this weekend when I go to Costco. But here's what I had on hand. And you can see I have so much more space. So I'm excited to get it filled up. We are moving right into the cleaning and we are going to be starting in the master bedroom. I had some clothes that I wanted to get hung up and put away. We keep on talking from body to body, yeah. Getting closer to just being nothing else. Uh -huh. I'm a sucker for you. So now that we have all the clothes put away, we are going to be changing the sheets. I know it feels like I just did this because I did it in my last cleaning video, but I do change my sheets out once a week. So I usually like to change my sheets out either Saturday or Mondays. So we're going to be putting some fresh sheets on the bed. I am super excited because the sheets I'm putting on the bed are my favorite ones. It's the ones from Amazon. I think they're like 22 bucks and they don't slip and slide in the middle of the night. So when you put them on, they stay there. Where is the other ones I just had on my bed it constantly pops up in the middle of the night which bothers me so much I'm sharing with you guys that little cactus that was folded in the sheets I don't know how that happened but it helps prevent all the static in like your laundry so we're gonna be getting my sheets on the bed and then we're gonna be moving on to getting the rest of the room cleaned Just like, no, 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 don't need no pills to get high There's no doubt in my mind Your love is all that I need So we're going to be using my Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray to wipe down all the surfaces. I didn't have my oil diffusers running today, so I felt fine using these cleaners. I love cleaners that smell good if I'm not going to be running my oil diffuser, but if I'm doing the oil diffuser, sometimes using products that have smells to them can be a little bit too much. Um, I know you guys said it, and I think it was two videos back, a few of you guys said you wanted to try out Mrs. Myers when I told you guys that I use it here and there because most of the time I like to use products 
products without smells because I usually have my essential oils running. I will leave my link down in the description box. You guys do get a free three piece set if you're a new member. That way you can try out their products and see if you like them. If you love cleaners that smell really good and have a strong scent, I think you will like them a lot. I still have my Grove membership because I find that I order a lot of stuff from there still. They have really good room sprays, which I love for my car. I keep one in my car, so whenever I give my car a nice wash, I will spray my Mrs. Myers room spray. They also have some disinfectants on the website, some disinfecting wipes, so I still buy tons of stuff from the website. Is your love We are now in the master bathroom and we are going to get this area nice and clean. I seriously have been to the grocery store probably three times now and I have forgotten my disposable gloves every time. So we will just be using these ones for now. I like using the ones from the grocery store because they are super, super thick. These ones are kind of thin that I have one and they tear very easy, but they get the job done. It's what I had. So I'm still loving my Kirkland disinfecting wipes. So we're going to be wiping down the toilet, getting that clean. I know a few of you guys have said that I would love the Clorox, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's the Clorox toilet cleaner um, reusable thing that you can just add pads to it. Please help me out, you guys. I cannot get the name, but it's the toilet wand, I think is what you call it. And I definitely want to try that out. I just know that I clean my toilet bowl every single day. I like a clean toilet bowl, so I don't know how expensive that toilet wand, how the pads can be, but I'll definitely look into it and I'll report back if I end up going with it. So now we're on to cleaning the shower. I am spraying my bathroom cleaner. It's an all natural cleaner, so it doesn't have any harsh smells or chemicals in it. So if I happen to get some of my clothes, that would be perfectly fine. I'm also putting some of the Mrs. Myers um, surface scrub at the bottom of my shower. You can buy that from Grove. So I will leave my link, like I said, in the description. You guys can definitely add that to your shopping cart. I love the scrub for the bottom of the shower, and then I love the spray for the shower walls and the glass. Why we never lasted with your hand on my knee Every single feeling comes back to me Your lips pressed against mine after a night We got drunk and ended up at your place That kind of love is not easy to find, babe I haven't felt that since you went home just wiping down the shower glass and I'm wiping it down with that shower cleaner the best I can and then I go over it with some cold water to make sure I get all of the product off and it kind of gets all the streaks away. One of you guys recommended to me to use a magic eraser for my glass shower doors because I feel like they are so hard to get clean. So when I go to the grocery store, I'm going to try to remember to pick up a magic eraser and try to get some of that soap scum at the bottom. It's really at the very bottom. It's really hard to remove. So I am excited to try out the magic eraser and I will report back and let you guys know if it works out.
Now we're in the family room and I'm just getting all of the products put away that don't belong here. I had a purse that needed to go in my closet. I had some ketchup and some salt. I had some tissue that needed to be put away. You guys, speaking of tissue, I was searching on Amazon and I came across an acrylic tissue box. And pretty much what it is, is we like having tissue underneath the coffee table, but it just doesn't look good. So I always end up moving it back to the linen closet. But they have an acrylic case that you can take all of the tissue out of the box and put it in this acrylic case. I thought that was so cool and I could just have it underneath the coffee table, but it was like $30 and I didn't know if it was worth $30 for a tissue um, organizer, but I'm definitely considering getting it so that way we'll always have tissue at the bottom of the coffee table. Change your heart So now I'm going around and vacuuming the rug. I will say I had to stop vacuuming. I cut that part out because it wasn't picking up anything. I was like, what is going on? It has a full battery. And then I pulled it up and flipped it over and noticed that there was a whole bunch of dust stuck at the bottom of it. So I just emptied it out and then it worked perfectly fine after that. So if you find that your stick vacuum is not picking up anything, it is time for you to clean the bottom of it out. So that's what I did. It had a lot of dust and hair at the bottom that I just threw in the trash and and it worked brand new again. I also wanted to say if you guys are in the market for a new pair of jeans, I just recently tested out, um, I say tested out because I was kind of skeptical, you guys. I was skeptical of Abercrombie and Fitch because I have a very curvy body frame. I'm far from skinny. And I remember wanting to wear Abercrombie and Fitch in high school and never being able to wear their jeans because of my curvy body frame. And they were designed for skinny girls. It never worked out for me. But Abercrombie and Fitch came out with this Curve Love line. And I had been hearing a lot of people rave about this line. And I was like, you know what? Let me try it out for myself. So these jeans I have one now are the Curve line and they're high-waisted, you guys. They feel like butter. They are amazing. I feel like I'm cleaning in yoga pants. I just wanted to say that. I usually don't wear um, jeans in my cleaning videos, but you will see me wearing this pair a lot. They are so comfortable and I love them so much. I know that is so random, but I know it is so hard for curvy girls to find a good pair of jeans. So I will leave them linked down below. It's definitely not sponsored or anything like that. I just love these so much and I wanted to share it with you guys. So now that we have this side of the kitchen all cleaned, I'm just using some dish soap and I am getting my sink cleaned out. I feel like my kitchen is not clean until my sink's cleaned out. And then you'll see me use my disinfectant spray and just spray the inside of the sink out. It does need to sit for 10 minutes. And I told you guys in several videos, you can either let it air dry or you can wipe it out. This particular day, I just let it air dry. Okay guys, I also have to share something else with you guys. I see it in frame. It's my Magnolia Table Cookbook Volume 2 by Joanna Gaines. I just picked it up from Amazon, you guys. It's on sale for like $13 and some change, which is a steal because I've been eyeing it for a long time, but I just didn't want to spend $20 for a cookbook. You guys, I'm so frugal. So anyway, when I saw it for $13, I picked it up and I have already tried three recipes out of the cookbook and they are so 
delicious. So I'm gonna be remaking one of the recipes because it was so good and my fiance's like, can we have that again? And when I make it, I will film a video of me making that recipe. You guys will love it. If you have the volume two Magnolia table cookbook, please let me know down in the comments what is your favorite recipe or even if you have volume one, let me know if it's worth me to get volume one. I think volume one's on sale for $17 and some change. But if there are some recipes in volume one that you guys think I will love, definitely let me know because I probably will be back on Amazon ordering volume one. are an oldie but goodie you know how I feel about sanitation I love having a sanitized home that's free of any germs so I recently just got this phone care device and it is amazing you guys it uses UVC lights to kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses which is crucial during this coronavirus so literally you just put anything in there you shut it and it goes through a eight minute sanitation cycle it will let you know when it's done the light will no longer be red you take it out and your device is free of any bacteria and viruses i use it to sanitize my car keys my phone my sunglasses my apple wash my face mask anything that can fit in this device it will sanitize for you i will have all the information down in the description box if you guys are interested in getting you one so you can sanitize your devices All right, guys, that is everything. I'm gonna be getting cleaned in my home today. I'm just finishing off by vacuuming the kitchen floors and giving it a quick mop. I hope you guys got tons of cleaning motivation from this video. Definitely make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button and all the links that I've mentioned in this video will be down in the description box for you guys. And I'll be seeing you very soon with a brand new video. Bye.